The holidays are back on at Universal Orlando, and that means the return of the Macy's Holiday Parade, a fantastic projection show at Hogwarts Castle, and an overall fun and festive atmosphere at the resort. And one of the many offerings back at Universal Studios specifically is the annual Holiday Tribute Store. A new tribute store is one of the things I look most forward to as it's a really neat place to get your seasonal merch while experiencing some really fantastic theming. And the 2022 Holiday Tribute Store is no exception. However, possibly one of the most underrated parts of any tribute store are all the fun easter eggs that can be found relating to Universal movies, attractions, or even other tribute stores. So with this video, I wanted to share all of the easter eggs that I found in the 2022 Holiday Tribute Store. With this year's tribute store, we have the overarching theme of a vintage New York department store, which piggybacks off of the vintage Halloween theme at the HHN 22 tribute store really well. And speaking of that HHN tribute store, as you enter, you will see an elevator directory as this is a department store with all of the themed rooms on different floors. However, the basement reads Eerie Emporium, which was the fake souvenir shop found at the end of the HHN tribute store. That's just the start. Moving into the next room, we kind of carry that vintage New York Christmas feel with some more Easter eggs and interesting details. If you're a fan of classic Universal attractions, specifically Confrontation, this sign on the left hand side reading Empire State Co. has a little nod on top to a classic scene from the 1931 King Kong film. You all know the one I'm talking about. And above the pathway to the next room, there is a sign that reads Roosevelt Island Market, which was the location featured on the tram ride vehicle on Confrontation. However, it's not just Confrontation that's referenced in this room, as on the opposite side, there are a couple little nods to Universal. The tribute store has a lot of these window displays, and this main one in this room features a snowy mountain with a train and ski lift. And on the front of the window has a sign reading Carl's Toy Chest which is likely a reference to Carl Lamley, the main founder of Universal Pictures. The next room is themed to Hogsmeade from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and honestly, this room didn't have any super noticeable easter eggs, but it was just really beautiful, gave me those Wizarding World vibes, even though I really liked the Yule Ball room from last year's store a bit more. However, as you move into the next hallway, which usually has the photos that you can buy and put yourself in the tribute store, there are a few easter eggs once you move past the photos. In this hallway, there are a series of posters, of course some referencing the rooms in the tribute store, but others referencing universal icons and defunct universal attractions. The first one of these is for Mistletoe Pines, the CityWalk pop-up from last year, and on it there is a mention of Clayton Geyser. This could be a reference to the Clayton Ravine, which was the infamous ravine from Back to the Future 3 that Clara Clayton, Doc Brown's love interest in the film, was supposed to fall into and it would be named after her. Of course, that doesn't happen in the movie, you've all seen Back to the Future 3, right? However, while this easter egg might be a little more subtle, the next one is pretty obvious. This next poster references a used parade float that is described as Super with a star on top, which is a more overt reference to the now-closed Superstar Parade. However, if you know me, you'll know this next one is definitely my favorite. We have a poster, of course, referencing the Monsters Cafe, which, like Superstar Parade, closed earlier this year. Now, while that wall had some of the defunct attractions, the other wall has the three Universal Studios icons, the Universal Studios Arches, the Fosto's Lighthouse from Islands of Adventure, and the Volcano from Volcano Bay. Sorry, Hydrocano. And on the Arches poster specifically, we have a few references to Classic Universal. We have a line about phoning home, an obvious reference to the best ride at Universal, E.T. Adventure, as well as another about gargoyles at an added cost. And this one is a little more deep cut as it is a reference to the gargoyles that once sat outside the Universal Studios Arches many, many years ago. Now, just like the Wizarding World room, I couldn't find too many Easter eggs in the Whoville section other than the Grinch and Max statues, which I believe are from one of the stores in Seuss Landing at Islands of Adventure. However, if you thought all the past rooms were something, just wait until you see the final room themed to Earl the Squirrel. Now, this room is as chaotic as all of the other Earl the Squirrel rooms have been in the past, but there are a few things that I was able to pick out amongst all the chaos. On the treat stands, there are a lot of bumper stickers that have many different references. 
references. From right to left, we have two stickers referencing the HHN Tribute Store. Again, with this gone but not forgotten design, which was at the Erie Emporium in the Tribute Store, and another referencing the head on a stick at Hollow Hill Cemetery. And this is referencing the animatronic heads that were present in the cemetery scene inside of the Tribute Store. And right above it, we have a more obvious Back to the Future reference with this Cusco sticker, which was the name of Marty's company in Back to the Future 2. Also, all the way to the left, there is a bumper sticker for Gator Town USA, which is definitely a reference to a little amusement park down the road known as Gatorland. And yes, that is a real place. And guess what? More bumper stickers. Here on the right, we have one that mentions the Dead Coconut Club, which was the Universal Monsters Tiki Bar in City Walk during HHN. And across the store, you are going to see some references to the Green and Red Coconut Club, which is the Christmas overlay for the Red Coconut Club bar in City Walk. Now, if you were looking at some of the other bumper stickers, wondering what they mean, what they might be referencing, Universal has an answer for you at the end of the store. Once you check out and go to the exit hallway, you'll see a sign for the Orlando Preview center which is basically a big stand with all these fake attraction posters and ads that parody the kind of attractions of various Orlando theme parks and if you went to the HHN 2022 tribute store this is pretty much the same setup that they had at the end of that store However, this in itself is another very deep cut reference to a forgotten Universal attraction, which was a preview center for Islands of Adventure before it opened. I say this because take a guess where that preview center was located. And also, the map for the Orlando Park is the same one used for Islands of Adventure. So in a completely meta moment, Universal created a fake preview center that is in the same location that a very real preview center was for one of their upcoming parks. Is this a sign of things to come? Now that was all of the Easter eggs that I found inside of the Tribute Store, but there are a few in the surrounding area that I wanted to mention because they're really fun even though they're not specifically for this year. Just next to the Tribute Store on the Rip Ride Rocket Firehouse, there is a wreath, but if you look closely, you'll notice marshmallows scattered about with some ornaments covered in green slime. This is a reference to the Ghostbusters who appeared at Universal in the Ghostbusters Spooktacular stage show in the 90s, which existed in this space that currently holds Race the New York now. And over atop the Sahara Traders gift shop sign by Revenge of the Mummy, the wreaths contain a familiar ape. Of course, yet another nod to confrontation, which existed in the same spot that Mummy resides now. And there you have it, a good amount of Easter eggs from this 2022 holiday tribute store. Honestly, I didn't find a whole lot of Easter eggs in this store, but I wanted to point out the ones that I found because I think this could be a fun series uh, for each tribute store doing some Easter egg videos. Do you have a favorite Easter egg or did you see any that I missed? Please leave it in the comments. I really want to hear your thoughts. I think my favorite has to definitely be the Monsters Cafe poster. I would love that in the background of the videos. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video, just a little one for the holiday season. Don't don't worry, I have more coming down the road, um, but I want to thank you all for all the support uh, you've been showing the channel. And if you liked this video and want to join the community, you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We make videos about theme parks, Universal, Disney, fun facts, Easter eggs, history, all that kind of stuff. It's really a good time over here. And I hope you have a great one whenever you're watching this. Thanks for watching, and I, of course, will see you all next time. I really need that Orlando park to open. Does Orlando have an epic universe?